Welcome to another episode of This Is My Architecture. I'm Aarti and joining me today is Shin from Zillow. Shin, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me here. So Shin, everybody knows what Zillow does. Talk to us about what your team specifically does at Zillow. Okay, I'm part of the Zillow Artificial Intelligence uh, Group. So our group mostly doing a lot of advanced NLP machine learning species to text uh, solutions to help our internal business units. So internal business units, so what problems are you specifically trying to solve for them? So one of the problem is called speech analytics. So we have lots of phone conversation data with our customers. So there's a natural need to how to utilize, analyze those speech data to better do a better quality control and help our customer. Okay, so why don't we dive into the architecture of how you do the speech analytics? Yeah, sure. So um, Zillow currently working with different telephonic systems. Um, so first step we have is like, we will grab the phone conversation data into a dedicated S3 bucket. From there, it triggers the, a step function execution. So this is, we call the audio ingestion process. So you've got the data ingested. What is the primary role of the step function here? So step function uh, acts a, a very important role in the we call it audio analysis phase. So for all the audio data, first they will go through the AWS transcribe. Basically here is speech to text. We get the transcripts. After you have the transcript, we also call the comprehend. Here we can generate the sentiments for all the utterance of the customer, for example. And uh, on top of that, we can run many other models. And in the end, all the results, intermediate results, will be pushed into a S3 bucket. So your step functions, you're using a sequential pattern here to go to transcribe and then move into comprehend. This, there's a lot of consumer data here, right? Like how are you taking care of your consumers like privacy and compliance? Yeah, I think we have two different approaches here in, in, in place. For first, AWS Transcribe is very nice to have a PII reduction functionality. So we turn that on, which means all the consumer PII information, which are in the transcript, will be removed. The other one is uh, Zillow has a dedicated team to make sure all the processes, data store internally, follow the CCPI compliance. Got it. What is the role of this intermediary S3 bucket that you have here? You've processed all the data and you're storing here. Like, are, is there any other information that goes into this S3 bucket? Yeah, as you mentioned here, here we simplify this. Beside this transcribe and the comprehend, actually we run lots of data enrichment to get lots of information about the call. And also we, we could run customized NLP models to get more insights. All those information will be pushed into a data lake location. So here the analyst, data scientists can run analysis modeling on, on top of that. Awesome. So how do you then take that data from that intermediary level to your end users? So, so here we do have an, another process going on here. They will grab the data from the S3 bucket and they will push to a fire hose. Fire hose acts a, as a buffering layer. Eventually the data will go into the Elasticsearch cluster. Why did you choose Elasticsearch as your final destination? So this product is mainly to serve internal customers. The ability to search for uh, phone conversations is very important to them and they want to search by different filters. Here, Elective Search uh, acts as a like, natural fit for this purpose, right? So another benefit of Elective Search is the auto scaling functionality we have seen. So we've got data in the Elasticsearch, right? So your internal teams, your business units, how do they consume this data? So now this product is for internal customers. They currently we use uh, AWS Cognito to do the authentication, user management. And they were on the UI, they can do search. All their search criteria will be in the back end, they will be uh, transformed into a search query. The query will be run against Elasticsearch. Besides that, maybe they can also grab certain call URLs to replay that call. And that uh, in that case, we, use, we generate the pre-signed URL for the users to interact with. OK, so depending on their search criteria, whether it's a phone call that they're searching or like keywords that they're searching, yeah. they can uh, look into the Elasticsearch from the UI. Exactly. This is a neat architecture. Are there any enhancements that you're planning into this architecture? Yeah, definitely. So one of the things we are thinking about here, they, they are more in this area. So as you can you can see here, as, the, as we add more functionality into a system, not only search, grab URL, comments, and many other more, um, 
naturally, you, you will make lots of sense to simplify the architect here. Here, we are thinking about to use the AWS GraphQL or AppSync. You will simplify the design here. So first, we, have, we will have a proxy, GraphQL as a proxy. Then in the back end, we can add lots of resolvers as we, as we need. We expect here there will be efficiency benefits as well by switching to that. And that can also simplify the Lambda functions as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, Shrin, this is a neat architecture uh, of simplifying uh, the use case for your internal teams of how to get this analytics from the speech uh, that, uh, that is all ingested. Thank you for sharing this architecture with us today. And thank you for watching This Is My Architecture.